Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel, Connecting with Spirit. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about soul loss, uh, what that is, what it feels like to experience soul loss and what you can do about it if you feel like this is something that's happening um, that you are experiencing right now. So what is soul loss exactly? You might have heard the term in shamanism. Uh, it's a very common uh, term to be used in that sort of modality. And it really means is where a part of your soul is missing. It's lost. But to be perfectly honest, <laughs> I feel like soul loss is really inaccurate. Because it's not like you were going about your business and you lost a part of yourself. You know, it dropped out of your pocket. You misplaced it. It's not like that. It usually happens when you have experienced trauma or abuse and a piece of your soul is taken by someone else or a group of people. Uh, so soul theft would be more uh, accurate term. Um, in my opinion, I'm just going to talk about, I'm going to use the term soul loss um, for the purposes of this video, but to be perfectly honest, it is more, uh, I think, truthful to say it's soul theft. So when you experience soul loss, it is literally a piece of your soul has been taken. So you are left with, I guess, holes in your soul and you can feel like there are parts of you missing. I can feel like there is a void there and you can't quite seem to fill it. You can feel like uh, yeah, there's something missing, you're lost, you don't know um, quite, you can't quite put your finger on it, um, but that there's something definitely missing or you're just not whole, you're not all together. Um, it can be really traumatic and debilitating to lose parts of your soul. Um, and yeah, you can also experience addictions because it is so painful to lose parts of yourself uh, that you might try and fill these voids, these holes within yourself with uh, drugs, sex, alcohol, food, any sorts of addictions like that in order to attempt to kind of soothe yourself and alleviate the pain from um, soul loss. So that's really a common thing to experience when you have lost parts of yourself. Um, another thing to say is that the soul parts of yourself can often uh, carry your soul's purpose or kind of like missions that you have agreed to, that you have basically um, outlined for yourself. Okay, I'm going to come down into earth and this is what I want to do, X, Y and Z. And those parts of your soul can hold that energy and that information of your soul purpose or soul missions or some sort of thing that you need to do on earth and you know what that is. And if you are missing these parts of yourself, then you don't have access to that information. You can feel like you're down here on earth and you don't have a purpose. You don't know why you're here, even though you know <laughs> you're here for a reason, but you just can't access that. You can't access that, pers that purpose, that information, because you've lost that part of yourself with that information. Um, and the energies that have taken these parts of you, uh, taking these parts of your soul usually are disconnected from love and your soul pieces act as supply for them and they use that energy for nefarious means usually um, in order to power themselves up I guess you could say um, so they might look really youthful because they have taken parts of your soul they also will have access to that information in relation to your soul's purpose and they might think that that's what they need to do but it's not because they have stolen parts of you um, and it's actually your soul purpose and not theirs so that's another interesting thing to note and if this sounds like something that you feel you might be experiencing I think the best thing to do is to set that intention. Um, if you feel like, oh yeah, I think 
I might have lost parts of my soul. To set that intention to ask your healing team of light that you want to reclaim, you want to take back those parts of your soul. And to basically just let that intention go, give it to your guides, your angels, whoever it is that you want to set the intention with, um, asking them for help and guidance in relation to this and see what happens, follow your intuition. Uh, because for some of you, I know, <laughs> in the, as in um, as was the, in my own case that I did have to learn how to do this for myself. Um, Spirit taught me directly how to get my soul pieces back. For others, uh, you might have to um, go to a shaman or you might have to uh, do some training in order to learn how to do this. It just depends. Uh, so when I was checking in to see what the best advice would be to give for this, uh, that's what I heard to just set the intention and follow your intuition in relation to this. Because um, you will be given guidance on what's the best way for you to go about getting your soul pieces back if this is something that you feel like um, you're experiencing right now. So that's pretty much it. Uh, do let me know what you think of soul loss. Um, if you think my definition is accurate, uh, soul theft, uh, if you have experienced this or indeed if you have um, gotten parts of your soul back, I would love to hear your experience in the comments below. Uh, so feel free to post if that feels like something you'd like to do. And other than that, thank you so much for being here, for tuning in. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.